Hi and good day. Very important. If you're that person that spends a lot of time flexing forward, picking up at the gym, around the house, or at work, regardless of what you're doing, you need to become very aware of your hamstring muscles. If you're not stretching them, that can give you significant problems to your lower back. Damaging the lower back, hurting the disc, causing herniations, herniated disc, bulging disc, disc degeneration, spondylosis, osteoarthritis. Okay, so let's look at the biomechanics of the lower back area. Here's the lumbar spine, thoracic, and again, here's the cervical spine from the side. Should look like an S-shaped curve from the front. Should look like a straight spine. If it's curved like this or any other way, we call it a scoliosis. For our purpose, for this particular lesson, let's look at the back of the pelvis. These are the ischiums that we sit on. The hamstring muscle attaches to these ischiums on both sides, goes down the back of the leg, attaches to the back part of the knee joint. Now what happens is, with tight hamstrings, when the pelvic rotates forward like this, the hamstrings will lock out down here. When it locks out, all the stress is being taken into the lumbar spine, and that's where we put a tremendous amount of load and force to those discs, which obviously can cause damage, herniations, bulging, or even degenerative joint disease. But if you're having tight hamstrings and you're leaning forward a lot, even brushing your teeth, doing things around the house, and those hamstrings are not loosened up, it's going to damage the disc of your lumbar spine because you're taking all the movement out of the, of the pelvis and putting all the load into the lower lumbar region. There are many ways of stretching the hamstrings. You can put one leg up out in front of you, bring your chest to your knee, you can sit down, put the heel on the floor, bring your knee uh, to the chest as you bring your chest forward to the knee. If you dorsiflex the foot, you can get more of a stretch. Although I really don't care, nor does it matter what stretch you do, as long as you're elongating those muscles and doing that regularly. Because without it, you're causing too much stress to the lower lumbar area, irritating the disc if you have it, or inflaming the nerve, pinching that nerve, because the disc is becoming inflamed, irritated, and putting compression on it, causing pain and dysfunction. So I hope this helps you, gives you a better understanding why we need to stretch the hamstrings. Very important for biomechanical reasons. If you have questions, leave them below. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't so, and share this video for those who can benefit. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.